This is part two of the Bitrix 24 instructional videos for the SnafuCon staff. This video will cover how to create task templates and tasks. Overall, I'm going to focus primarily on task templates since they tend to hide in the background of the task system, but templates are how recurring tasks work. Task templates are integrated enough with the task system that regular tasks will also be covered extensively, but I really want to make sure you understand the template system. There are two ways to create a task template. The first way is to generate a template off of a task, and the second way is to directly create a template. First, I'm going to look at creating a template from a task. So if you click Tasks on the menu, this takes you to your task list. I live here when I'm using Bitrix. It's the first and last place I check. I review my list regularly, and it does get huge as the year goes on. I expect yours will be much more manageable than mine. I will go into the task list features in another video. So to create a new task, you can just click on New Task up here in the right corner of your task screen. You just fill this form out. It's pretty basic if you're creating a task for just yourself. If you click More, notice one of the settings says Repeat Task. Click the Activate checkbox. This notice down here at the bottom tells you that a new template will be derived from this task. And you just use this form to set up how you want it to recur. You're most often going to need year, but you can set it up for whatever you need. I'm going to set this task for the 15th of June. You can get pretty specific with this form for how Bitrix generates your tasks. I'm going to create some dummy data, go to the bottom and hit Add Task. So here's the task I just created. Notice that this task states over here that it's a recurring task and links to the template. I want to caution you that in my experiences, not all recurring tasks have this notice. But since it showed up, you can just click template and it will take you to that template. And here it is. Pretty basic, looks pretty similar to your task. It does have some settings hidden inside of the edit, so if you want to review how it's created, you will need to edit it. Please keep in mind that if you do need to edit how your task generates in the future, you must edit the template itself. Editing the task does not edit the template for future iterations. So if you need to edit anything, including the description or the title, for future iterations, you have to change it in the template. Also, editing the template does not edit the live task either. They are two completely separate entities. So the task form for a template is slightly different than your original task form. This is the same form as if you had created the template directly. Look over the whole form and feel free to play with the settings. I'll go over the different settings in detail later. Now I want to show you how to create a template without creating a task. This is most useful if you'll want a task later, but you don't want it now. A reason for this might be that you want to make a recurring task for something that you just finished handling, so you don't need the task now, but you will want it for future cons. So let's start over in our task list. Next to the new task button, you have this ragged right drop down button. This is your template button. If you have any templates, a selection of them will show up here. If you click on any one of them, it'll take you to a new task screen and let you create a new task off of that template. That's not what I want right now, so I'm just going to click on all templates and go to my template list. So this is my template list. Yours will either be empty, or if you were following along, it will have that template that we created earlier in it. If you want, you can add this to your menu. I am regularly using the templates, so it's really useful for me to have it in my menu. To create a new template without making a task at the same time, from your templates page, you click Add Template up in the right-hand corner. This screen is very similar to your task creation, and you simply fill out this page and click Add Template at the bottom to add your template. A template does not recur by default, and you will need to click More to set it up as a recurring template. I have it pinned because it's something I normally use, so for you to find it, you need to click More. And I'm just going to pin it back to my task template. You may not want templates that automatically recur. For example, you may have a task or a set of tasks that only happen when we approve a new guest. We don't know how many guests will be approving or when, so when one is approved, you could then go to the task and create it from your templates. The process is the same for every approved guest, so it makes sense to have non-recurring templates set up for that. So before I end this video and move on, there are a few task links and rapid task entry locations in Bitrix24 that I want to point out. The first is on your homepage or your activity stream. Over here on the right, under My Tasks, if you click the plus, a task creation window will pop out. I also want to point out really quickly that on the task creation window, you have another task template menu you can access. The second is over here on your left menu. If you hover over tasks, there's a plus. Clicking on that plus will also pop out the task creation box. The following two locations are meant for serious rapid entry and just create tasks for you with all the defaults set. So they can't create templates for you. However, they're great for really fast entry of things that you're either going to do right away or will at least edit and organize later. So the third one is up here under the clock. You can enter any task title, hit the plus, and it will create a task and assign it as one of today's tasks. The next location is in your task page. This box here that says New Task, you can enter a title here and click the very unintuitive unlabeled box and it will pop open a very limited task creation form. You can save a title, the deadline, the person responsible, the project, also known as the work group, and if you click the description, the description field will pop up. 
You can also create tasks from inside your workgroup by selecting your workgroup, Tasks, and then New Task. When you create a task through your workgroup, it will already have the project filled out for you. You can actually create tasks from all over the app, and depending on where you do it, it has different defaults to make your creation easier, so keep an eye out for that. I'm going to go into Task and Task Template fields in the next video. In the meantime, create a couple of tasks and task templates and get a feel for where things go and how they work.